Trent Barber, and um, I'm happy to be here. What a beautiful day. Um, and uh, this is a nice program, very adventurous. And uh, this, you know, when we get all these submissions from around the world, including, mount, you know, you get mountain bike movies and BMX movies, and now track bike movies more than ever, and you get these movies that are like an hour long. You know, you can imagine, we watch, you know, movies. Um, do you have a question back there? Okay, sorry. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just blowing around. Uh, so, um, so we watch like we watch almost the whole movies. But now we're starting to, you know, not watch the whole movies every time. I mean, you can tell if it's going to work or not. But there used to be a time when I was like Mr. Like I have to respect the filmmaker and the biker and spend hours and hours watching these movies. So a lot of the mo uh, the mountain bike movies. Uh, you know, like you're like, oh my gosh, it's amazing writing, amazing writing, but you just got like, and it's funny because you'll see the same songs going over and over. Like people don't know that they're using this. And this applies to all the movies that we get. Like bikers like certain kind of music. It's pretty amazing. Um, like Tussle, which is not that big of a band. They play for the Bicycle Film Festival in San Francisco, and they're a great band. But Tussle has been in like five movies that we've accepted. And then I've seen so many movies that they've been in. So it's pretty cool. This movie that the reason I started thinking and talk about that was is um, I had saw this movie Virtuous and it's a Swiss mountain bike movie and um, I asked them if they would play like a, a short of it because I'd never seen in any mountain bike movie somebody do something like they set up all these candles you'll see in the in the forest and it's really really beautiful and camera obscura <laughs> this is band is it's all musically driven mountain bike thing. And um, anyhow, also uh, Paul called on this movie. It's uh, below 40 degrees. Uh, he called because I had made an email list, or he emailed back when I made it. I said, I'm in hot and sunny. For, for us right now, this is hot because I just came from New York, which is starting to get fall and cold at night. And, um, and I'm in sunny, and he's like, oh, it's below 20 or something, or 10, you know, where we are right now. So you can imagine the whole bike world, we're all connected, but we're like on different temperatures. And uh, so it's kind of fun to stay connected with all the guys. And, um, and then Seven Deserts, I programmed this because it's um, really incredible. The guy, he did this, you'll see, he, he's on his own, and he has this passion, he did it over years. And um, he's kind of like, there's something um, special about the way he uses the camera um, and tells his story. And he's like this ultra guy, you know, like he's out there in the desert and he's still, think about this, like he's still, Filming, you know, like I would just throw the camera down and like, okay, I gotta get some water somewhere. Somewhere, you'll see. Like, how is that guy still shooting himself? And he has like, he's totally sick out in the middle of Africa in the desert. Um, you think like this guy should put his camera down? All right. Um, and then the next, come on in, folks. Um, have a good time. Then the, have you guys been to uh, where you go? Did you guys, some of the folks here? If you didn't get a chance to see where you go, it's playing next. And um, that is, I think it's a really good movie, too. And it's really beautiful. Um, it's actually, it's really, it's really beautiful. Um, and then there's an after party again tonight um, at Chingalings. Okay. And that's on Oxford Street. Yeah. Do you guys know where that is? Maybe we can all ride down there. It's our last, oh my gosh, this is the last night. What a party it has been. Has people, have there been anybody here every night? All this stuff? Yeah? Has it been a good time this year? Yeah? Everyone's kind of tired at this point, right? <laughs> so, well, next week is Tokyo, so please come to Tokyo. Uh, there are some people, Andy just left. Um, and then after that is Melbourne, so um, please go and meet your biker brothers and sisters out in Melbourne. And then next year is, um, and I'm not joking, next year is our 10th anniversary, and I've been announcing it, if you've been to other screenings, I've been announcing this at all the screenings. Please come and join us for our big biker party at the Bicycle Film Festival in New York, where we started 10 years ago. And uh, it'll, it's a lot of fun, really. Like People are there from all over the world, different backgrounds, different bike enthusiasm, some mountain bikers, BMXers, uh, messengers. It's a, it's a lot, a lot of fun. You'll meet people from Israel, Brazil. Like I'm always shocked, like people from Russia. Um, and then you know all the cities that we're in, which is like almost, I think it's 39 cities, um, all those folks come too. So, in fact, there was a lot of people there from Australia this year, from Brisbane and Melbourne and Sydney. So, um, please enjoy the movies. Um, thanks for coming out, and um, thank you a lot, Sydney, for a great time. I really appreciate it. It's our fourth year here, and it's been really rad.